Laverne Cox is a pioneer for trans actors in Hollywood. Tonight, she'll star as Frankenfurter in Fox's revival of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And next year, with a role on CBS's Doubt, she'll be the first trans person to play a series regular on network television. Cox credits her success to Brad Calcaterra, an acting coach who works with LGBT talent. Mary H.K. Choi attended one of his classes in New York. I want you two to take each other to task. Put I always tell people, like, look who was sitting to your left or to the right, you know? Uh, Laverne was sitting in the chair. Laverne was in this room that we're in right now. Here we go. Action. You're such a fucking hypocrite. Oh, I'm a hypocrite. You're a fucking hypocrite. You don't even know who I am. You Chances are you've never heard of Brad Calcaterra. He's been acting for more than 20 years with bit parts on TV shows like Law & Order and Gotham. But when it comes to teaching, he's the Stanislavski of the LGBT community. His approach? To get students to stop acting. I named it Act Out, not to push people out of their comfort zone or, you know, out of a closet per se, but to be okay putting our energy out in the world. I want you to do this like you're home in your bedroom by yourself. Because here's the thing about trans actors. A lot of them have already been acting their whole lives, stifling their identities to make other people feel comfortable or to avoid trans panic and violence. Calcaterra helps them strip away the defense mechanisms so they can step into other roles. We need to see a little more of you. And I'm like, mm, well, if there's something about us that we're not okay with, usually something that's been shamed, and it's a lot to be shamed, you know, in your formative years when people are exploring impulse. The thing that is too much is what we need to expand and shine. Some of Calcaterra's students are understandably guarded. Sawyer Divest is an actor in Brad's class. What do you find the most attractive about your body now? What's beautiful? I like my legs. What else? I like my ears. Go over to that side. Two more things that you find beautiful. Right now, there are more trans characters on screen, but many of the roles go to more famous cisgender actors, actors who identify with the sex they were born with. Because casting agents say there aren't enough trans actors who can hold their own. But that's changing. Is there something ironic about the fact that you've put in so much work to present the person that you are? Mm -hmm. And all you want to do now is embody other people, like for your life's work, <laughs> by being an actor. Yeah, but it's also like I can show the world who I am because I am now comfortable being who I am. No one's ever seen me except me. When Jeffrey Tambor on Transparent wins an Emmy, people are seeing, oh, that's a man, a man in a dress. They, they think that trans women are men in a dress. I would not be unhappy were I the last cisgender male to play a female transgender on television. And that's like literally not what trans women are. How do you feel when I tell you that you actually present like a white cis male? Ugh, that is complicated um, because that's not necessarily my identity. That's not how I identify. Right. After two years of classes, Divest is headed to Los Angeles to try and become an actor and put Calcaterra's training to the test. What makes you qualified to teach a class like this? I teach my trans students no different than anyone else. It's a, a piece of getting rid of everything that's not innately you. So use the energy here tonight. It's not about passing, you know, it's about being who we are. 